Hi, today I want to show you how to use Google Docs. And for that, we're going to use a new shortcut that we discussed in class. I want you to press Ctrl New to open a new window. Or if you want to open a new tab, you can press Ctrl T as in Tom or Tab. Then you're going to type doc, like document, that new, and you're going to press enter. And that will create a new document. The first thing I want you to do is to add a title, and ideally add your name. Add some text, and after you add text, I want you to highlight the title and change the font to maybe 15. If you want, you can go here, point by point, or you can press inside, select the size, or type, in this case, 15. Because 15 is not here, I will type 15, I will press Enter. Second thing I want you to do is to change the font color. So we will come here to the letter A, and you're going to change the color to your favorite color. And the last thing you're going to do is to change the font. In this case, I'm using Arial 11, and I'm going to change it to my favorite song. Let's just say it's Lobster. Since you can't see this very well, I'm going to make it bigger, just by pressing two times. And I'm ready to insert a table. So you're going to insert a table by clicking Insert table and we're going to insert a table three by three. So you will hover your mouse down and to the side where you see three by three. After that you're going to type the days of the week and you're going to type some activities you do those days. When you finish I want you to change the font. For each row, you can pick any font and any color you want. And finally, you're going to add color to the first row. You will select the row and you will come here to the top and click the dots to find more tools. In this case, we're going to use the background color. You will select your favorite color or any color you want and you will click outside the table. Finally, we're going to insert a picture. So you will go to insert an image from the web. So we're going to search the web and we're going to type schedule. And you can double click to insert this image or you click one time and then you click insert. Once the insert is on your document, go to the corner and make it smaller. This is very important. You have to click the middle one, which is called wrap text, in order for you to move the picture. Put it in the corner. And I will actually show you two more things. I'm going to press enter here to give more space for my picture because my margin at the top is not letting me put the picture in this wide area. One thing I want to show you is you can see the ruler if you want in this case. Or if you don't want to see it, you can click view and you can hide the ruler. So if I click here, now you won't be able to see it. Make sure you have it showing there. Now we're going to insert a header and a footer. So you will click insert, header and footers. And in this case, I'm going to put a footer. So at the bottom of my page, in the middle, I will put my name, created by Ellie Clark, and I want to put the page numbers. I will type the word page, and I will click Options to put a page number. In this case, I want it in the footer. I want this to be shown on the first page, and I want to start at number one. If I'm creating a long document, and I don't want the number to start on the first page, you will select here. I will click Apply, and I am going to center this text. So I will highlight it, 
and I will align to the center. One more thing. We're going to insert a drawing. So I will click Insert, Drawing, and I will click New. And I'm going to insert a shape. And let's look for a heart. So I will click on the heart, hold my mouse, drag it down, change the color from blue to red, and I will double click in the middle. I will click the three dots to get more options and I'm going to center the text. I can also change the font if I want to. And when I'm ready, I will click save and close. When my image comes to the document, I will resize as needed. And remember, you have to click the middle one, which is wrap text. After you do that, you're able to move your image. The last thing we're going to do is to save my document as PDF. So I will click File, Download, and I will make a PDF document. When I click there, it will create a document and it will come to the bottom of the screen where I will click and I will click Open. So now I have a PDF of my document. That's it for today. See you in class.